Have you ever wondered about the secrets that lie within your DNA? If you're curious enough, you can find out with the genetic testing kit that you can order online. Today I'm going to be looking at one such kit called Tell Me Gen. Based in Spain, this company is a leading provider of comprehensive genetic testing services. For example, it will tell you your genetic predisposition to diseases, pharmacological compatibilities, basically how your body responds to certain drugs based on your genetic variants. It will also tell you personal traits, such as the likelihood for male baldness, alcohol and nicotine dependence, and also wellness traits, for example, your caffeine dependency, your food intake control, and muscle endurance. And of course, it will also tell you information about your ancestry. So here's how it works. First, you just order the testing kit online and you wait for its arrival. Then you provide a small saliva sample into the kit and send it back to Tell Me Gen for laboratory analysis. And that's exactly what I did. So let's go ahead and look at the results to show you the kind of things that Tell Me Gen can tell you from analyzing your DNA. So here's the main interface where you can look at your DNA results and they're broken down into different categories. Genetic predisposition to diseases, inherited monogenetic diseases, pharmaceutical compatibility, personal traits, wellness, and ancestry. So you're getting a lot of information based on your DNA, but let's go ahead and look at the personal traits because there were a couple that really stuck out that I think you'll find interesting. First up, alcohol dependence after prolonged consumption. My genetics say that I should have a higher than average likelihood of excessive alcohol consumption. And you know what? I can tell you that even though I don't drink often, when I do, I drink a lot. And as my father used to always say, son, you can't fly on one wing. So I think I know where I got those genes from. Next up, male baldness. Inside your genes, you can tell you if you're going to go bald. Mine said that I would have a lower than average likelihood of baldness. And sure enough, at middle age, I still have a head of hair. Even though it's receded a little bit, um, I can definitely say that the genes were right on that one as well. Nicotine dependence after prolonged consumption. This I found very interesting because I don't smoke, but my genes would say that I have a higher than average likelihood of dependency to nicotine after prolonged consumption. Imagine knowing this when you're like a teenager and then somebody tries to get you to try a cigarette and you already knew that you were going to have a genetic predisposition to becoming uh, addicted to it. This is just amazing that you can find this kind of information inside a genetic test. Now let's go to the wellness section because there was one that I really wanted to check and it's actually the reason why I wanted to try Tell Me Gen in the first place and that was blood glucose and it confirmed what I thought to be true that I had a greater than average likelihood of having high blood glucose. 95% chance of having high blood glucose. And guess what? Every blood test that I've ever taken has been flagged with high blood glucose, high hemoglobin A1C. And this now explains why, that it was always in my genes. And you know, even though I have a very, very clean diet, free of any refined sugars and processed food, I still have high blood glucose. And that's the reason why I took Tell Me Gen and it confirmed exactly what I thought. So this is very, very valuable information for me at least, knowing that it's in my genes to have high blood glucose. So let's look at some other things that your genes can tell you about, like caffeine dependency after prolonged consumption. This I found very interesting. It says that I have a average likelihood of dependency after prolonged use. And guess what? I absolutely love coffee. In fact, I love being caffeinated. I love caffeine. And the issue I have with caffeine is if I don't have it after prolonged consumption, I get very, very bad withdrawals. Crazy bad withdrawals to the point I can't even think. So again, Tell Me Jen has nailed it on the head with my caffeine dependency. It's in your genes, folks, believe it or not. Food intake control. Yes, that is also inside your genes and mine said I have a slight tendency to overeat. I could have told you that. <laughs> One thing I've always noticed about me ever since I guess I was a teenager was that I had a huge appetite. I could eat a lot in one sitting and once again, I find out now in middle age that it was in my genes all along. I cannot believe that Tell Me Gen's genetic test can tell you about food intake control. So just for fun, let's go ahead and look at the ancestry data that you could also look at. And interesting results here. Now, of course, it says 
my primary genetics come from India and Pakistan and Afghanistan, which makes a lot of sense because that's the region that my family is from. But I did learn some information about my ancestry that I didn't know, namely that I have relatives from Europe. And Tell Me Gen actually broke it down even further by saying that my relatives come or at least 22.3 come from British countries, both the United Kingdom and Ireland. Can you believe that? I got some Irish blood. Maybe that's why I have a tendency to over drink uh, when I'm drinking alcohol. But I have to say, I am very impressed with the amount of data that you get from this Tell Me Gen DNA test. Just from a saliva sample, it has learned so much about myself. And a lot of it, I, I you know, it kind of verified things that I already knew. For example, one thing that came up was I would have tendinopathy in my lower extremities. And guess what? As somebody who jumps rope all the time, I have a lot of pain in my Achilles, my Achilles tendon. And that's exactly what my genetics would have said. It said that I have a chance of having those kind of issues. Not only that, in the upper extremities, tendinopathy in the upper extremities in my arms. And guess what? I constantly have wrist pain from working out in the gym. So I knew that these tendon issues that I've had, they were in my genes all along. And that's going to help me design a training module so that I can work around that. So if you're interested in your health and you're always curious to see what's inside your genes, I highly recommend you check out Tell Me Gen and get the advanced kit because it gives you the most information. And out of all the DNA kits that I've seen out there, this is probably the most robust in terms of the information that you're going to learn about yourself, your predisposition to diseases, your pharmacological compatibilities, what medications would work for you and which ones you should avoid, all of that and more in one DNA kit. <laughs> This thing, if I could, I'm going to give it the handy Andy stamp of approval. Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed this review of the Tell Me Gen DNA kit. If you did, please like, subscribe, and leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. If you tried it, I would love to know your thoughts about Tell Me Gen because I am a firm believer in this DNA test. I'm Andy Barrar, Handy Andy, signing out. See you again next time.